Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I've got a riding lesson on G. He has been staying with the amazing Michael Eilberg whilst I've been on holiday and been busy and he's been getting a bit of a boot camp training, if you will. So today I'm gonna go ride him and have a lesson and then I'm probably gonna have another lesson next week and then I'm gonna bring him, bring him back home. But he's been in very, very good hands. Michael's a phenomenal rider and an incredible trainer. He just gets the horse so well. <laughs> just, there's no other way to describe it other than he just gets him. You know? So I'm gonna set off. It's about an hour and 20 minutes away. So I'm gonna drive super easy when you're not in a horse lorry, you haven't got a horse on board. It's gonna be a bit of an easy. I have quite an easy one today. It's a beautiful day, one of the last days of summer, I think. So I'm going to take with me, I've got a little pile here as you can see. So I've got my water, my hydro flask. We sell these at Black Heart now and they are unbelievable. I've got a t-shirt to change in, oh gosh, a t-shirt to change into after because I'm gonna get sweaty because Michael works you very hard and it's boiling today. I have Crocs to return in because I get warm feet after riding. Anyone who's got leather boots will know the struggles, the struggles. I have a little a little zippy lock bag of things such as deodorant, a hairbrush, I've got lip balm and I have makeup remover because I have makeup on right now for the vlog. I'm gonna sweat and there's nothing worse than sitting in your own sweaty, disgusting makeup and driving for an hour and a half. And it's probably gonna be a longer time on the way back because it'll be rush hour because I think my lesson's at 3.45 and probably will not be back on the road till five-ish. Um, so yeah, that is my, and I put it in this because I was trying to be clever and I thought I'm not gonna lose it all separately. We love planning. I've also got my spurs, they've got my rollers. G reacts really well to rollers because they are obviously not very sharp. They roll right off the skin and they are, they're really good ones. And they're only just like little to help refine my age. So they'll be good. I have my boots. I have my old boots because I actually gained weight on my holiday and this is not me saying I've got fat or gained a lot of weight but for me I gained a little bit of weight on my holiday because I was eating everything in sight not a problem I'm not upset by it I still think I look I look pretty good um, but my calves will not fit into my Kingsley boots there's not a lot of give in those boots so I can't actually zip them up yeah so old boots it is and then I also have my cask hat I don't know if you guys can see but I've gone for navy to match me gone for sparkles and that's pretty much all I'm gonna take with me other than uh, my mother but <laughs> she will not want me to show you she's gonna help me vlog we're hopefully gonna vlog a little bit of the lesson and show you where G's been living and yeah it should hopefully be quite good um, I might be a bit rusty I've not ridden him in six weeks so we shall see but I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get going so guys I just I messed up. I just missed my turning. It was one of those weird junctions where you're, there was like three different options and I stayed in the right lane. I should have gone in the left. It's added 20 minutes onto my journey and which means I'm going to be, I'm going to be there probably just on time but I needed to get on 15 minutes before and I was hoping to show you guys a little bit more of where G was and etc etc. So when we get to the yard I might have to just run through and hop on. So I apologise about that but then I can show you his stable and everything after my lesson. So yeah. <laughs> So we just got here, I'm gonna put my boots on and then we're gonna go find G.
<laughs> you can you nibble. <laughs> You're cute.
every day we brought him out. It's like hot and difficult. But you, you just sort of, I find if you just keep him on like small circles, don't let him get too big, but don't let him stop either. Try and keep him in like a very small trot or a very small canter. I've got canters, but I work with it. Yeah, canter's fine, but just don't let it get like too big or in a straight line. Because it, it is just his hormones really taking over. It's not, he's not doing anything naughty. It's just he got. It. Yeah, it's just in that moment. He's, he just becomes a stallion. Yeah. You can't really blame him at the end of the day because he is a stallion. Uh, the poor guy never gets to use his equipment. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, half of riding while you've been away. No. Other than other than your beach riding. Other than riding him, and that's hard because the they're all barrel horses. So to get them to muddy turns, you've got to like, oh, it's, it's, it feels like an amateur. Now let's have a little feel of him in, in, in how he is. Have a little feel of him in this bit. It feels fresher than he felt last time. So came in, he felt like a little docile, didn't he? I've only helped Joe remember the one time um, outside, other times we were indoors, weren't we? Yeah, exactly. And he is quieter indoors. But like I say, it's good. I mean, it's a good thing that he, you know we do want him to feel well. Yeah. And then we have to learn to, to, to get him soft enough and we have to learn to get him confident enough, respectful enough, all of those things to, to be able to then use the energy for good. Yeah. Like I said, I mean that is that is his thing that I've had with him, and the horses go back and forth from the. But it has to be for the horses from the field. If the horse just goes to back barn or comes up from back barn, he's not too bad. So I have a feeling it's the fly rugs that he can't recognise what it is. Because if a horse comes up, he's not crazy. But if they if the field horses come up, then he gets a little bit turned up. Yeah, but when you look like him, you've got to have some sort of quirk, right? I mean, you, you, we're always finding that you can't get the whole package. There's always something. Give it a little round and shorten up the rein. And just check that you can bring his nose in to you a bit too. Yeah. But not, not, like, not like this. Like this. Yeah. yeah? So you're not bringing... You, you, you're making him a little bit... Little, hold his base of neck better too. Not just shortening the, uh, the front end, you know, like not just tucking his nose in. It's actually feeling like he holds the neck better. And then his nose can still be out, you see. So I'll flex him a little bit. So he's giving a bit more of a your face. Yeah, he, he, I just always feel with him, especially in the canter, the big one, is he, he just has this tug always. Yeah. And, and it's, this is where the things like the changes have not been so easy for him and they still are going to continue to not be easy for him until he... Uh, establishes a balance that he can maintain and not always sort of just looking constantly to surge downwards, you know? Uh, so shorten up the inside rein more. And vibrate the inside rein. Just pick him up every now and then, pick him up a little higher. Sit up a bit taller. And then make some transitions too, you know, bring him back to walk a few times and check that you can bring his head and neck a little bit towards you. And flex him if he gets a bit strong. That's it, good, super. And then you notice as well, like his walk steps there were much better too. Because yeah, sometimes when he gets a bit stiff in the walk, he can lose a little bit of rhythm. That's it, flex. Flex, play with it, that's it. Don't allow him to get anywhere set on the rest. Have to feel very responsive to the bit. Yeah, not letting him... <laughs> yeah, you're not allowed to just sort of become just I, I hold on to you and you hold on to me kind of concept, yeah? Changing the rein then to the left. All right, so a little canter in the rein. And then just, uh, just make him loose and just play a little bit with his neck in terms of every now and then you draw him up a little bit more towards you, and then every now and then you let him a little bit more where he's comfortable. So you just play the variety into it. He, he needs to get just very comfortable with following the bit in all directions. So if you want his head a little bit to the right, he puts his head to the right. If you want his head straight, it's straight. If you want him up, you want him in, you want him down, you want him out. He has to just learn to follow the bit in, in all directions. You just make a very clear um, uh, sort of plan of what you're going to ride. I know you're riding simple things at the moment, but still have a plan in front of you of saying, 
this is a straight line, this is a circle, this is a corner, this is riding on the track, this is riding off the track. Yeah, this is, a, this is me riding him a bit more collected, this is me allowing him a little bit more forward or easier. That's it, just basically putting ownership to everything you do. That's it. Good. That's it. And when he goes forward, he has to stay soft. And when you bring him back, he has to stay forward, if that makes sense. So you have to be careful. When, when you come back, he wants to drop the, 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 flu, the fluency of the impulsion. So think about a little break in a minute. I found that as well. I found that he benefits from working in short pieces and then having little breaks. Yeah. All right. So think about having a, a walk transition when you're ready, and shorten up those reins when you want him collected. Ride with the ride with the shorter rein. That's it. And then you want him longer. You can have a longer rein. Don't find yourself having a long rein and trying to make him come in. That's it. Good, that's nice. I'm back to you. Good, Lovely. Good. And then let him have a longer rain now. Just let him have a little breather. Good. So not finding him too strong. It's not too bad. I mean, he definitely feels strong, but it feels alright. Nice. Okay, as long as. That's it. Good. Sure. Come on. It's working. It's working. Maybe lean back a little bit as well, put yourself, because you're a little bit weak at the moment, you've got to put yourself a little bit in, a, in an anchor position. So just put yourself a little bit right in the back of the saddle there for a moment. That's it. Good. And then you just, let's say, a little, on the outside rein, just keep saying every now and then, I just make you a little shorter on the outside rein. Even though you're flexing to the inside, I want you to come together on the outside rein. That's it, so flex to the inside and come together on the outside. That's it. Good. The same thing going here. Now flex to the inside and keep them together on the outside. Uh, good. And then one more to the right and then you can stretch. Good. So now flex right. Keep them together on the outside. Okay. Lengthen, lengthen the rein. Lengthen the rein. Let him stretch. One coming back. Easy. Let's go. Might get off here because uh, it's a long way down. Boy. So guys, as you can see, very, very sweaty. Had a really, really good lesson. Gee, we're both sweaty. I'm gonna go and wash him off and get ready to go and get myself a water and drive home and then uh, I'll chat to you in a bit. So come on, Gigi. So guys, that was my lesson with Michael Alberg and my beautiful G. I am so sweaty, like my hair, I don't know if you guys can see, oh look at the, look at the forehead mark. My hair is wet through. I've just had to change my top because I was soaking and I've got my Crocs, I don't know if you guys can see that. And I have never felt heaven like peeling off sweaty, horsey riding socks and putting Crocs on. 
I knew I'd thank myself for that. But anyway, yeah, I had a fantastic lesson. G's a very complicated horse. You can't see it per se, but to ride, he throws a lot at you in different ways. And I felt like I had a very good first lesson back. I felt very weak uh, physically, not in the canter, that felt okay. But in the sitting trot, I'm not gonna lie, I nearly died. So <laughs> I think, some abdominal work would be a good idea and uh, a bit more riding get back riding fit after some time off i've got another lesson coming up i think next week and that'll be good and then i'll bring g home but i had a wonderful ride today i love training with michael i feel like i learn i just learned so much and he knows the horse so well and it, it just feels very good to have a, a good support system so feeling very pleased and very tired um i drove to there and I'm very lucky that my delightful mother has uh, has volunteered to drive me home so I'm gonna go and get a nice beverage and uh, probably vegetate on the sofa for the remainder of the evening because I'm exhausted but thank you guys for watching please do like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time